Travel Dog here and we are on the way to the Commonwealth Games. Whoa! No idea how to get there. We are apparently at the NEC. We came here a day early because there won't be any parking, but there seems to be vast amounts of parking here. Table tennis is what we're trying to get to. Somebody said there's a shuttle bus. Okay, somebody just gave us a map. We've got here, we are going to NEC Hall 3 for the table tennis. They told us it's such a massively psychotic long walk that you are by far better off getting the shuttle bus, which we think is over there. We are in the shuttle bus on the way to the NEC. I think we made it to the NEC. Is there something over here which says, welcome to the NEC? So we get to all the different halls through this one here, basically. We've got to reach through Hall 11. Hall 11. We'll go in the two hours. Okay, actually, we're going. Nice. Okay, welcome to the NEC. We have made it to the NEC. That's what it looks like. That's what it looks like around here. And we are heading in. The refugee has spotted a spaceship, otherwise known as a chair. And we are, I think we're heading to check-in which is hall 11. I think check-in's hall 11. Oh man this place is weird. This is where you'd expect to find um alien spacecraft isn't it? Don't you think? Absolutely gigantic weirdo space of the world. Look at it. Man really bizarre. Oh it's Madly, you could fly a plane here. It's madly agoraphobic in this place, or acrophobic. Yeah, uh, what I find frightening is when you have defined large spaces. It's really weird. When you've just got a big outside world, it's okay. You could easily open that door and fly an aeroplane through it. Man, the table tennis will have begun by the time we finally get to Hall 3. Halls 1 to 5 is where we are apparently going to the Resorts World Arena. That's Bear Grylls Resorts World. Volunteers guiding us on down to Hall 3. Everybody else seems to be coming back, whatever they've just been to. And they are now leaving as we are entering. We're in. Through security, had to drink half a bottle of sparkling mineral water because you're only allowed 200 millilitres a litre. I don't know, something. Anyway, other than that, we're all good to go. Um, we, uh, we still seem to be heading towards the NEC. I haven't really got a clue where the NEC seems to be about 5,000 different buildings, including Bear Grylls Resort World. And here is the oh, map of Birmingham 22 inside bit. NEC Hall 3 table tennis we are heading to. Arriving at everything. Now over there is Bear Grylls World. Look, you can see all those people climbing up some terrifying giant thing over there. Bear Grylls Adventure World. I'm not sure I'd walk off the plank on the end, no. Uh, here's some sort of thing. First of all, we're going to head over here, see if we can get to the, um, what are we going to? Table tennis. Okay, as everybody pointed out to me, this is actually where we're going to be. As it says, welcome to the National Exhibition Centre. I haven't quite grasped, but it does actually say that. So we are now entering. Oh, Piazza, halls one to five. Anyway, we're in. We are in, everybody, and we're going that way. I've already forgotten what hall we're in. Three, isn't it? Right. Let's head to hall three. Right, we're inside the table tennis section in this absolutely massive, mad building, and we're now queuing up for the match courts, which is one in and one out. This place is huge. Look at it. And there's apparently practice courts. You can kick a tennis ball, even known as a table tennis ball, around on as well. And we made it into the table tennis at last. And I presume you're allowed to film in here, but we shall see what happens. And look, you can see over there, mad hall with table tennis. And over there is an English woman playing table tennis. We've got a big scoreboard up here. So this is a women's team preliminary round. You can see the score. Oh, I think she's won. There we go. An English woman's won. She's doing a bit of a... I've won thing. I think have about eight different table tennis sports down here. We might move on to the iPhone so we can see a bit better. Okay, so here we are, chilling at the table tennis store. That seems to be the uh, winning England team in their preliminary women's round. And they're strolling off. In front of us here you've got these, uh, seem to be just doing a warm-up. Okay, right, we've got some nice close-up table tennis action here. 
Oh, left handed, okay. You get to see some of the super cool table tennis serves. Whoa, look at that. So it's crazy. Huh? Whoa, look at that. So you can see both teams there. You can see the ones dressed in red and the ones dressed in black chilling out over there. And it seems to be a best of five competition. Watch this serve. Over quickly, these little matches, aren't they? Okay, everybody, here we are in the giant NEC Hall 3. There must be about 15 of these massive halls. Look at them, they're so insanely big. There's a huge food market there that's not open today, but there's all sorts of other food places and food stalls and food trucks and all sorts of things, but it's absolutely mad the size of this place. Just absolutely insane. My aircraft hangers feels weirdly like an airport as well. Anyway, it's very intriguing. Smash of doom. Okay. Hundred and eight. Okay. Does it have to hit the other side to be recorded? Oh, I see. Okay. 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 Oh. Hopefully. <laughs> Oh man. Yeah. Okay. That was better. That was better. Man, it's much harder than I thought it would thank you very much. It's much harder than I thought it would be to get it. Nice, 54. Oh, 48. William Pittsburgh! Here come the England. Sam mm. Walker! Tom Jarvis! Representing Fiji, Jai Chorham, Stephen Riley. Is there a point? Vicky Woo! Crazy crouching serve. They've pretty much won this match already, I think. Almost. 10-0. So, they won this, they win it. Oh, oh, what happened? They won, they won. They got it. Woo! That's the crazy English players. Let me just zoom in so we can get some crazy serve action. Reserve action. Oh, they've actually lost a point. Tell me again, who are they playing? Fiji. Yeah. They're playing Fiji. Oh, there we go. Back on form. Serve close up. Oh, the other one does the stamp. This one just does the serve. I actually play quite a lot of table tennis, but I find it quite bizarre. It's much slower than I thought it would be, mainly because I think they're trying to just do little weird spin shots to stop people smashing. Flick back. Huh? And under the table, they're discussing what they're going to do. Oh. Look at that. Okay, this is a singles battle we're now watching. The English dude here is mastering a Fiji man. He's won basically 11 0, 11 2 or something in the last game. This is the third final game. Give a bit of service action. Here we go. Another go. Oh, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's all the spinny puts on or something that makes it work. Here we are, heading out of Olympics. Olympics, I mean Commonwealth Day 1. Uh, what do we see? Uh, table tennis. Just can't help looking at, what is this? Bear Grylls Adventure World. Look at it, man. This place is insane. 
Bear Grylls Adventure World. In, I fly indoor skydiving, snorkel, snorkel, that bizarre, shark dive, climb, archery, shooting, escape rooms, high ropes. There's the high ropes there, obviously, that thing you can go out there. But um, where are the sharks? Are there really sharks in here? Bear Grylls Adventure, look, there's a mad back of an aeroplane you can sort of abseil or um, zip wire out of. Absolutely crazy stuff. There's a mad jeep in the area. This bit looks kind of cool. With all these flags, <laughs> all the flags leading down to the Bear Grylls Adventure World. <laughs> but obviously, I think they're meant to be leading down to the uh, NEC Arena for the uh, sporting activities. Another weird place here, Resort World. No idea what Resort World is, but we are now at Resort World. And there's a huge lake, and there's a hotel. There's all sorts of weird stuff here, man. It's quite extraordinary. This place is massive. Day two, Commonwealth Games. About to join the biggest queue in your life to try and get in. The rest of the queues are back there. This way, we're heading, heading, heading down. Heading down to the end of the giant queue. Travel Dog and Co. Are back in day two of the Commonwealth Games. And we're just going to have a quick look at the giant moose over there. Look at the moose. Or a... Uh, Bull, what, what is it? It's a bull? It's a giant bull. Look at it, waving at us. You can get a bull hat. Quite tempted to get one of those giant hats. Anyway, let's head on down. Much busier today. Saddle everybody going for it. And we are heading off to the boxing. Hello, everybody. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Got badminton over there on the right. Let's head on through the NEC to the land of boxing people. Here we are, heading into the boxing in NEC Hall 4. Come on. Nice. Thank you. Then we go to the boxing area. Oh man, I already need it. Oh, cool. Man, check that out. It's quite funky in here. Nice. Here we are. Split decision, it's close. Here we go. It's the heavyweight England fight, so you're going to get full on madness. Last guy, and the other one just got knocked out. Oh, he's up against the Pakistani guy. Oh. <laughs> the usual mad uh, England celebration for this guy. Representing Pakistan, Nazir Umar Khan. Bit of close up of this. Ooh. Big man. This guy does look a lot bigger. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of boxing, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The winner by unanimous decision in the red corner. Yes. 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 Yes.
got quite a good vibe as you wander around here. All sorts of people taking photos of each other with the different boxes. Boxes coming out to uh, do all sorts of autographs and photos and stuff. It's quite funky actually. You go to the uh, English woman boxer out here, showing out, chatting to people on the phone, doing autographs, taking photos. <laughs> kind of cool. And over here, you've got like a little ring where you can come and, uh, you know, do some mess around boxing with giant gloves. Ooh, there's some skipping ropes or something we're trying to find. Here we go, boxing skipping rope. Mad room. I mean, it's huge, this place. Look, you think that boxing ring we were just in, it's just a tiny bit. It's absolutely insanely massive room. Look at it. It's on and on. I have no idea the NEC is so insanely big got scammed on the way out as they wouldn't let us uh, do the giant boxing glove thing because um, uh, shifting us all out so they can get ready for the next session. It's only quarter to three and the next one doesn't start till six and this is the middle last till three. Anyway, scammed, scammed on the way out. Oh, Raked in house with some loaded fries here and we are outside with loaded fries. Funny enough, it's cool. We've got a few other food stores here, burger and fries here outside the Olympic Duda Park. What's it like? Have you had a um, bite yet? I'm trying it. You've got okay. the first bite. sauce and then you've got barbecue beef and cheese on chips. Okay. Smells good. <laughs> the beef is really good and soft and the flavours mix together really well for a nice spice. Okay. Chips are really soft too. Let's have another bite to this one. Cheese is spot on. It's <laughs> cheese spot on. That's it's always really an important good. point, the cheese. Nine and a half out of ten. Really Nine and a half out of ten for the loaded fries. They look fine. Let's have a little close up on them. They actually look, oh, you got a bit of brisket in there, which is quite nice. Oh, nice bit of beef. Chipotle sauce is quite nice. The cheese looks quite good. Terrified you're going to drop them. Other than that, all is good. Nice. Surprisingly tasty, the loaded chips, actually. Not bad at all. Not everybody's going for it. Mm. Nice though. Oh yeah, the brisket is slightly sort of barbecue sweet. Mm, nice spice. Spotlight sauce. It's actually really good. Everybody's going mad for it. Mad for it, everybody. We've got a like, little chill out area here at the Olympics. Olympics, come welcome. Um, everybody chilling out here, watching you know, like a big screen and stuff. You can see Resort World over there. The giant thing. You've got people lifting up weights. You've got, I think these must be more drinks areas. Badminton, basketball play area, weightlifting. Ray Fadi going for a very, very heavy weight here. Not entirely sure he's going to make it. Oh, 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 oh my goodness me, look at those oh, muscles. Fun. One hand, amazing. <laughs> well done. Hey everybody, got my Commonwealth Games cap. New the travel dog the cap. Still can't come, come on. In Bear Grylls world again, and we're trying, oh, there's the trancher, there's the trancher. In the back right, trenches in the back right, hiding. It just seems to be this is Bear Grylls world, the entrance. We're just trying to, we're just going to resist seeing what this place looks like inside. It's got all these different, um, look at these, like, look at these cockroaches. oh man, weird cockroach cage. Look Giant that. hissing cockroach. Giant hissing cockroach, nice. In there, Peruvian pink tarantula. tarantula. Nice there, it's hiding. Okay, we're looking for pink. Oh, that snail's good. Look at the giant snail, man. That is fantastic. And there's a Chilean plant growing here. Chilean tarantula. I'm not just good at tarantula finding. Can't see it. Oh, wow. Where's the trash? Oh man, it's there. Mummy. Oh, is that one? Or is that two? Oh, oh, it's hidden there in the dark, but it is there. It's quite creepy. It's nice. Right, this place is actually pretty funky. There's a shop, funnily enough. Uh, look around. Oh look, there's the aquarium. Look, there's the aquarium. So look, this must be where the shark tank are. That's the skate rooms up there. Climb expedition office. This is a train. This must be where you can do your shark dive, I guess, and feed the tropical fish. Where are the sharks? Some shark teeth, certainly. 
Oh, there's the sharks. Oh, there's loads of little sharks flying around. They're just not a massive, but they're in there, all right. Can you see the sharks? Yeah. Sorry. Oh, look at all these little fish, don't pump for it. Anyway, there we go. Here's Ben's parachute. His parachute's chicken. Here is Boots. You only get it wrong one. Boots. Sorry, I'm only warm. This is what we wore for 3,000 miles. It just freezing up to the water. I went to ocean and it was a rip. I think the camouflage is pretty ugly. The camouflage is a bit weird, actually. There you go, there's more bear stuff over here, look at. Oh. oh, there's an ice axe from Ama WM Climb. This is one of my ice axes I used to climb Mount Ama Double in the Middle Ages. And then this one is his oxygen mask from the Everage Paramotor. Oh, because he did a weird thing where he flew over the top of Everest. Oh, and the doors are open as well. Check it out. Not only that, we also managed to buy a uh, rucksack and a um, managed to buy a rucksack and a hat. Ten pounds each, pretty good. And we got Bear Girls bag. Yo, move it! Victory! So look, you can see loads of people arriving for whatever is about to begin here, heading down here into the Commonwealth NEC world because uh, it must be the next event that's about to take place. Wandering around inside the resort world now, trying to see if there's uh, something to get to eat. Outside the lint shop, and now I'm going to try the matcha. Oh, look at that! The matcha lint thing. You can only get this apparently in Malaysia. Mmm. What does it smell of? Mm, chocolate. So matcha should be green tea, I think. So. Uh, mm. mm, actually, really good. Mmm. Mm, quite nice. Mmm. Start with the high-quality flavour. Flavour's dropped off a bit now. I like the white chocolate. There's a hint of sort of green tea flavour. It's not overpowering by any degree at all. But... Hmm. 7 out of 10. Nice chocolate. Not really getting the flavour. Day 3 of the Commonwealth Games. We're off to see the cricket in the rain. Mrs D's got the giant umbrella out. And we are heading off towards Edgebaston Stadium, which you can possibly see over there in the distance. We've managed to park in some random road nearby. Hopefully, we will not have the car towed away. And what I forgot to say is we are going to see Pakistan v India T20 ladies uh, cricket. Right, we're in. Got loads of stuff here. You've got the uh, official merchandise store. Where my hat came from. Well, from one yesterday, you got a crepe place. Coffee, hospitality, craft beer, currants, samosa, gourmet, gourmet samosa, wood fire, pizza, burgers, fish and chips, coffee, and loads of people wandering around. I've never been here before. Looks slightly like a sort of block of houses. Right, now I've got a slightly better food here. That's a bit of selection vegan, Caribbean, which I'm quite tempted to try later. Wood fire, pizza, fish and chips. There's an actual pub, that little bar area is quite cool. Cocktails, wine and fizz, fortress bar. Oh, it's a cricket museum. Oh, shut up. Block six, seven, and eight. We are in block 11, wherever that should be. More, um, uh, what are they called, food stalls here? They might actually got these down. Oh, coffee, right, that's what we want. Chicken, that stall's just called chicken. I wonder what they do there. Another inner bit of Edgebaston Stadium here. People strolling around, more coffee, ice cream, more bars. Oh, got a bit of a vibe. Oh, there's a John Moose dancing. Or a bull. Oh, everybody chilling out. Oh, they've got Pakistan flags painted on their face. Very cool. Maybe that's a sticker. Where can I get one of those stickers? All right, Travel Dog here. We have adorned ourselves with uh, the Pakistan flag with stickers they're giving away for free. If you were sporting India, you got face paint. Everybody here seems to be sporting India, bizarrely enough. Um, so it's kind of weird. Uh, now, it is pouring rain again, just when it stopped. 
everybody here suddenly spontaneously found anorak from nowhere and they are now putting these weird covers back on the cricket pitch they were going to start 11 25 it is now seven minutes past 11. got a bit of pre-match vibe here pakistani team exercising out there got these weird rollers going around it's really nothing to suck water out of the grass they drive them over to the corner and then water just shoots out of them in a really weird totally extraordinary fashion <laughs> They've just brought out a hovercraft into the centre of the village. You know how much abuse you're going to get from cricket fans? It's not worth adding stuff. What is it? Rafe D says he's going to be abused by cricket fans discussing the hovercraft. But I think the hovercraft is quite interesting. Okay. Whoa! Injure only five runs to win, and now they've got only 96 for two, so they've only got four ones to win. Oh, baby! Oh, it's happened. Injury of one. Got the flames. Hey everybody, that was India versus Pakistan. Absolutely fantastic entertainment here at Edgebaston. And that ends the mad travel dog Commonwealth Bonanza. Although there's still more games for you to watch out there. Uh, as ever, like and subscribe to this my other channel, arttop10.com. Bye bye.